Welcome back to Paluto Jackson's Monster Hunt. This is a special actual play campaign by us, the Dungeon Dudes, as we celebrate the Kickstarter campaign for Monsters of Drakenheim, our latest book project with Ghostfire Gaming. I'm Monty Martin, one of the co-authors of Pluto Jackson's Monster Hunting Guide and the Monsters of Drakenheim project, and I will be running the game tonight as Dungeon Master. And I am Kelly McLaughlin, one of the other, the other co-author of uh, Pluto Jackson's Monster Hunt, the Monsters of Drakenheim, or Monster Slaying Guide. Pluto Jackson's Monster Slaying Guide from <laughs> Monsters of Drakenheim. There you go. Uh, and I'm very excited tonight to uh, slay some more of the monsters that Monty and I have created. For those of you who are following our regular show, you might recognize some of these monsters, but they have been souped up and made way scarier. Uh, if you do not watch our regular show, the intro and outro to these episodes is from the perspective of our normal main characters from the actual show as they sit around a campfire and the famous Pluto Jackson uh -huh. regales them with tales of his past adventures with two other heroes. So if you're a little confused on why there's costume changes and different characters. Uh, that's what's going on in this show. It starts and ends with us around a campfire, and what you are actually witnessing is the story that Pluto Jackson is telling to his compatriots from the regular show. That way we can pretend that it's part of the canon of our ongoing narrative, even though Pluto Jackson's stories might be full of plot holes and inconsistencies, <laughs> but that's why we're here to call him out on that stuff. So the plot hole's going to be in your... Face. Whoa. Um, so get ready for more monsters and hopefully we survive this one. But we cannot kill these monsters alone and so I am joined today by our good friends. Jill Denitis and I am excited to see what monsters are going to be thrown our way and again the beautiful miniatures that come with them. And Joel Gorman who's also excited for the wonderful new conditions that uh, that I seem to have happened to me all the time, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah indeed 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 well uh i think with that do you want to lead us into the latest story so as we as we continue to sit and i assume eat yeah <laughs> we're eating <laughs> we're eating we're drinking we're what, resting what this is delicious eating? by the way yeah it's what did you put in here i'll be honest i just take whatever's in my bag so, i think i see some in. fish folk might be. Oh, blue, blue. Yep. Mm. I may have thrown some flail snail. Nice. <laughs> Escargo in there. So, sorry, you were you were in the middle of a story. Well, uh, yes. Thank you for passing the conch. Uh, really, it's about. This is sort of a tale about um, relying on your friends when you need them the most, and the true power of explosions, 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 explosions. explosions. <laughs> Dark in the night, Devil looking for a fight. Let the cold they tear, defeat the devil by. Turn around, try to hide, fist to stay out of sight. Say a trick, so she's only right. The monsters are near, but we won't back down. We'll face our fear. Like the truth, we'll oh, shake the blade. Fear, fear. This is the night for break us here. With a blade by a side, we'll ascend in high. With the rain and gold, join the hunt tonight. Now we turn the tide for those left behind. Now the grit are tears. Take it tonight. Yeah, we stand shells breaking our hands. In the dark, we'll stand up and fight. With a blade by a side, we'll ascend and fight. With a brain when you pull, join your heart tonight. Get your strength under me and fire. We will show these beasts who live on the earth. Get your strength under you and fire! 
When last we left our heroes, Pluto, Galatea, and Gemini had battled against the creations of the apothecaries, Dr. Sakoff and Dr. Anders. After defeating Dr. Sakoff and her toxic injector servant and several re-automata, you now have a set of, another set of spiral stairs taking you deeper into the complex. What will you do? Captain, what is it that uh, you think would be the best and most tactful decision in this moment? Um, gather our supplies, gather our wits, and continue to find who created this weird cream and it's going to tell us what's in it. Very good. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm making a lot of progress in this chapter of the book. I've okay. written about, uh, what would you call these things? Blade arm? Guys, um, chest sore man. Chest sore. We'll work on that. Makes I'll workshop that. Sore. And what about the one with the needles for arms? What would you call it? The dentist. We'll workshop that as well. Uh, great. I'll. Uh, I might change those for the actual yeah, official probably, publication. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I should be under any set. Of you know. Yeah. It's. Well, I don't know why I'm asking you. I'll do the writing. Just. Just put my name on it. Yep, your name will go on the cover. We'll figure it out from there. Shall we move along, or do yeah, we need we, a moment? Just, uh, like, how are we feeling? We, we need to find... We gotta get to the bottom of this tower. And when we get there, we kill everything and send them back to Casper. To where they come from. They I mean, came from another place. I, I point to the dead body, and I'm like, you're, you're not really going to be sending that one back anywhere. I throw its remains in the pool of acid. <laughs> there. Back to whence it came. Is there any vials on the... Can we grab some, like, rando vials? Uh, sure. Each of you can make me an investigation check. Oh. Mm. <laughs> can I just grab vials? <laughs> 18. 13. 3. Okay. Um... You can find some empty vials if you want to gather a few, right? Remember, bearing in mind that your monster harvesting tools do have a couple extra vials in them as okay. well. Um, and um, yeah, you, Galatea, you managed to find a, a one jar of a rather safe and stable looking restorative ointment with five doses in it. Ooh. Does it look similar to the other cream? <laughs> Is it well? Uh, uh, well it labeled. looks much more, rep, uh, um, mu mu much less experimental in nature. More store-bought? Yes. Like, like <laughs> oh, we've seen this Processed. cream in the Caspian stores. Yeah. This is legit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Restorative ointment. Yeah, it's in the SRD. Well, um, Pluto, after you. Can we use some healing potions? Do you need any? You good? I'm going to take my my last uh... uh if we did have a short rest between those two you would have also gained an additional d8 hit points Woo! and you could have used hit dice i did well roll an additional d8 i did oh okay cool how are you you're good i didn't get hit in that last Me neither. yeah it was all pluto <laughs> See, it pays. Now that we're friends, we know to like keep each other I safe have... and mm -hmm. let pluto I have do one other i have one other healing potion Alrighty. Okay, I'm ready to go in and get stabbed a bunch again. Probably not. There's no chance that there's another stabby guy downstairs. I've Actually, walked down this probably not. No. I've walked down the stairs. Alrighty, <laughs> heading down the stairs, you come into another large laboratory that is more of an abattoir than anything else. As you come down the stairs, the this room is divided into two large sections. The first part of the room at the base of the stairs has several large tables that are splayed out with all manner of all chemical tools, um, chemistry sets, books, potion vials, uh, notes, and other, other scrawlings. And on the sides of the rooms are four alcoves. The alcoves are piled with bones and corpses in various states of dismemberment. And uh, heading into the middle of the room, there are more piles and piles of bodies and body parts that are splayed out in the center of, of, of the room. 
At the far end of the room, you can see that there is this strange arcane apparatus that consists of a large metal pillar that is bringing in electrical energy and charging up power. And it is connected to, and around it are two surgical tables and then two other specimen tables that have orbs that the electrical power is being focused into. And you can see that in this room, the subjects on the surgical tables appear to be reautomata in various stages of construction. And so there are, are in also splayed out in, in, in amongst all the other objects here are bits of armor and metal plating and parts of corpses that are hanging down from chains that are then being used to stitch together all of these things. As you step into the room, you can see that there is a man working frantically to complete one of the, the subjects. Um, he is garbed in a bloody apron and he holds a bone saw uh, and a scalpel in, in his hands as he works over one of the corpses saying, Nah, I must finish fast enough! Ah, ah, ah. And he says, Freed, your notes are terrible! Um, and, and, and he turns around just to see, see, see you entering the room uh, and, and he says, Lug, I need another arm! And in that moment you see that there is another figure in this room. It is a hulking creation um, with bruised and blistering skin the size of an ogre. It wears little more than a butcher's apron that is soaked in blood. And it has several, in addition to its massive arms and limbs, it has several other vestigial limbs that, that are, have been stitched onto, it, onto its body and other tendrils that are moving off of it in mutated form as if several half-formed bits were trying to be, be, be put towards it. Its head is just a massive weeping sore with a small face covered in a surgical mask and glassy eyes looking out from basically it's, a, it's almost like it's a rib cage is opening up out of its, its head. And in its two massive muscled arms, it carries a colossal bone saw, a spinning blade that is using to slice up the body parts, and then one of the vestigial limbs grabs the pieces as it cuts it up so that the saw blade can always be working as the other limbs are grabbing and, and kind of piling things into the bag that it carries on its back. And as you turn, turn into the room, um, the, the apothecary, Dr. Anders, points to you, Pluto, and says, Lug, those arms will do! Get me them! You can't have these arms. Wait, give me something cool to say. What should I say that's really cool? It's running right at us. It's running right at us! <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> All I had. I keep rolling really high for initiative. You do so. really good. Well, don't yeah. stop doing that. Okay. I love that. I, won't. I love that about you. Okay. <laughs> 13. Thank 13. You for it. Nice. 21. 21. Uh, 15. Okay. The massive creature um, before you is known as a ripper, another apothecary abomination. Gemini, you are the first to act. I'm behind Pluto on the stairs here. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start big. Um, whipping back my coat, on the inside are several tiny daggers, and they all, as I write in my journal with my coat whipped back, all the daggers lift out of my jacket, and I'm gonna cast animate objects. Nice. Ooh. Cool. So, would daggers count as tiny or small? Uh, tiny. How many of them can I make? I believe it's eight. What if they're little um, replacement tips for your quill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, that's way better. <laughs> they're little replacement quill tips, and they all just like... <laughs> all my replacement quill tips, which are pretty sharp. Yeah. If yeah. you've ever used a quill. Yeah. I imagine they're like different widths as well. Yeah, they yeah. have the different sizes. pointed ends yeah. on them, depending on like the script you're, you're writing. And I also imagine that you have them sized from like like oh, in, in my inside pocket is like little tiny pouches, each numerically listed, so that I know exactly... You can use exactly these to each represent two of the okay. animated objects. 
And you're, they're coming out of you, so they have a speed of 30 feet, yeah? So I have up to 10. 10, okay. 10, 10 tiny little quill tips. 10 tiny quill tips. 10, 10, 10, 10. Say that. That's fast. 10 tiny quill tips. 10 tiny quill tips. Did you bring back uh, Orion? Uh. Yeah, sure, you can bring back your familiar. Yes. <laughs> All there right. he is. It's around. Flying <laughs> speed of 30 feet. So, Sorry, Ryan. I'll say I didn't need to rest, so yes, I probably would have spent the time. Coming in hot. Yeah, so each one represents two yeah. daggers. Okay. okay, cool. So all of my little quill tips fly into the air and kind of fan out, pointing directly at the hulking beast. And then I uh, press myself uh, back up against the wall back here. All right, Pluto. Go, give him what for? He's gonna take my arms. Okay, Pluto, it's your turn. Don't take my arms. I guess and, it's an <laughs> arms race. Uh, I wanna pick up, there's all this like alchemical stuff here, yeah. right? I wanna pick up something and huck it at him. Okay, what do you wanna pick up? Uh, something uh, fluidy. Okay, okay, there's a barrel of what looks like scary fluid. Ooh. I, I huck it at him. Ar Fuck. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna say that the fluid has a range of 30 feet. So I need to get as close as I can to throw it. Okay, what's your movement? Uh, I got 30 feet. So I, and, and I grab the barrel and I do a spin cool. toss. Cool, give me an acro, uh, give me, sorry, not acrobatics. Give me just an attack roll. Uh, I, get a, I get a 16 on the die with my strength of okay. 21. Uh, I'm gonna say that it does uh, 4d6 Acid damage and causes uh, burning. Yeah, burn, did it burn? Two sixes and two ones. Okay, so fourteen, so 14. acid damage. Okay, and burning. So and you I throw the acid, action. and the creature just unperturbed, even though its skin is melting off and burning. It doesn't even seem to flinch. And then I throw a book at it. Okay, well, the book. That it's an action to throw the the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's throw... my bonus action. I bonus action throw a book at him, and I go. Eat your words. Okay. That's a cool line, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, put that in the. Okay, you're not gonna put it. <laughs> and then I bricks myself for the oncoming attack. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you better. Uh, alrighty. <laughs> Why don't you read a book? Okay. So okay, the Ripper is gonna start. Um, and it moves towards you, and as it does so, it spins its saw blade over its head, uh -oh. and all the gore that's on the blade flies off in all directions as it as it does so. Um, everybody that can see it needs to make a wisdom saving throw, uh, including your animated objects. What? They've, they have a wisdom of three, so they have a minus four penalty on their wisdom saving throw. Do we want to say I'm technically at the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisdom You're like right here. Yeah. Okay, are they gonna die if, if I... <laughs> Let's see what happens. I, I get a 19. Get a 19? Okay, you succeed. Woo! 20. 20? 23. Okay, you all made your wisdom saving throws. Wow. Yeah. But now I need to do all of my... All of your animated objects. Uh, they get a minus three. Yeah, so roll 10 saves. So 17. 14. One fail. 16. Like, yeah. Four. Four. Okay, two failed. 11. Uh, three failed. Six. Four failed. 11. Five failed. How many have I rolled? Uh, seven. Seven. Eight. Two. 14. Okay, so all but two succeeded. Uh, so everyone that failed their save takes 18 psychic damage. Everyone that succeeded takes nine. Um, they're and... still alive. My little objects are still alive. They're oh, they alive. are? They have 20 HP. Okay. Uh, are they immune to anything? I mean, I can they get hurt by psychic damage? They're not immune to psychic damage. No, Which is wild. They don't have... And they're technically frightened? 
I don't understand. <laughs> my, my quill tips. The fact that you even made quill tips appear and start floating out is boggling. You mind. brought these, you gave them life and <laughs> sentience life, yeah. only to terrify and traumatize. My <laughs> first feeling is fear. Extreme <laughs> nauseating fear. Technically, you're like kind of alive. Yeah. What is this world you brought me into? Oh my god! <laughs> My agent's never gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> Why aren't you writing anymore? My quill tips okay. will not let me. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm. Unfortunately, I didn't. I did not scare any of you, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. You scared all of my quill tips. That's I, enough. I did Except scare two. all of your quill tips. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Uh, so that is the Ripper's turn, Galatea. Okay, I walk down the stairs. <laughs> and I say, well, Pluto, if they want your arms, let's make them a little bit more impressive. And I polymorph you into oh! a giant oh! ape. Oh! Actually, now that we're level 10, what's a better version? Uh, you could be a T-Rex. Oh, could like... be. Oh, oh <laughs> those arms God. aren't as impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you want to hide my arms. Behind my arms. <laughs> <laughs> no, the ape's fine. We'll be an ape. <laughs> yeah, I want tiny arms so he can't attack them. <laughs> Anything else, Galaxy? You can huddle them. Uh, I am going to activate my blade song. <laughs> well, um, our, uh, our apothecary friend over here, Dr. Anders, um, is going to uh, cast a uh, a spell um, on each of you. Oh. Um, what they are going to do is cast. Ooh, what are these fun new spells I want to cast? We're going to go for Toxic Barrage uh, on Galatea. You create four rays of pure poison and hurl them at targets within range. You can hurl them at one target or several. So we're gonna send all of them towards Galatea. Counterspell? Would you like to counterspell? I don't know what level it is. Tut. Uh. uh you know what, I'll hold off now. Okay, you're not gonna counterspell? <laughs> trust okay. your gut, trust your gut. No. Okay, here come the attacks. Uh, alrighty, uh, the, I get one is definitely a miss, but then the lowest is a 22, and then there's two 24s. If I shield, then two of them hit. Okay, you get hit by two. Uh, so you take 18 poison damage from the first one. Oh, wow. Uh, and 10 poison damage from the second. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. On that and on my concentration on polymorph, or? Uh, yeah, two separate ones, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the first one just for it, oh. The, that's a six. Okay, you are poisoned for one minute. Ooh. Um, And so um, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Uh, you can repeat the save uh, to end the condition okay. uh, at the end of your turn. Poison ray. And then I am gonna do my uh, Am I still a giant ape? Yeah, I get, let me just make sure. Yeah, it's two concentration checks, <clears throat> both DC 10. So the first one is the 19. Okay. And then the second, 10. That's all you needed. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. So as you get poisoned, you hold on. <laughs> I'm still a ape. <laughs> Apes together strong. Thank goodness we played song. That's all. Okay, yeah, the advantage is huge. <laughs> okay, Gemini, it's your turn, bud. Um, so all of my little quill tips are except scared. for two. They're, all of them are scared, and they can't so move they can't closer approach. to the rich ripper. All right, but so one can. Two of them do. Yeah. So here they go. This is my bonus action. I say, get them, boys, and. Uh, oh, and uh, fi sorry. At the start of the turn as well. Uh, the happy fun slide turns on, and the stairs turns into a slide, and uh, the door slams shut behind you. Ah! <laughs> happy fun slide! <laughs> you're not prone, just you're just the stairs all I go slide, slide, slide down, down. Poor colors slam shut behind you. Um, yeah. No escape. Okay, I got uh, 26. 
That and hits. A, and a 12. Uh, the 12 misses. All right, so one of my 10 quill tips penetrates doing uh, four damage. Okay. <laughs> and uh, every little bit helps. I'm concentrating on that, so I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna they, run can't, they can't move closer to him, but they can attack other targets, right? They can't move closer to him, but yes. They, but they can't move closer to the source of their fear. And because he is the source of their fear, they couldn't move across the room towards the other target. Yeah, yeah. they're kind of stuck. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to run in and take a couple swipes at this big, big at boy. At the Ripper? Yeah, yeah. big boy. Uh, getting a 27 to hit. Uh, that's a hit. I'm going to use my uh, Blade Flourish. I do... 14 damage. Okay. My AC goes up by three. And I'm gonna take another swing. Sure. Critting. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Ripper is insensitive to pain and cannot be crit. Well, it's a hit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be, oh, that was, that was sad. Who wrote that? Uh, Not me, actually. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> 13 more damage. Okay. He's bloodied? No, not even close. <laughs> I was trying. Okay. Um, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna back up a little. Okay, the Ripper is going to use its uh, reaction, Unstoppable Lurch. When the Ripper takes damage, it can move it up to half its speed towards the creature that damaged it without provoking opportunity attacks. If it ends this movement adjacent to the triggering creature, it gains advantage on its next attack roll against it. Gemini? I think that's you, Gemini. <laughs> I, I, I swiftly step back and I'm like, take care of it, ape. And then he's like, and runs at me. Yeah. Oh, no. My well, coat! I'd be worried about your arms. <laughs> Although it did ask, he was told to get your arms, and you do have good arms. So it is your turn, ape, Paluto. Ah! And I attack him. If that wasn't clear from my scream my battle cry, um, I get a uh, 17 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Woo! And, uh, and like a 27 to hit. Okay. So it's gonna As be- As ape form? A ape, 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 big ape. So I'm fist, fist attacking the, uh, what is he, a butcher? What's his name? The Ripper. The Ripper. I'm gonna rip his arms off. That'll be fun. 26 damage, bludgeoning damage, and <laughs> 20 more bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Um, uh, no, no. Okay. It's the Ripper's turn. Hi. The Ripper's gonna go for the ape. Yeah. Um, because yeah, you got the biggest arms, so it wants it wants, <laughs> it wants it's gonna go for the. the I want to see the reanimata made from a human body with these with, giant with, with giant arms. arms. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna use its whirling bone saw against you. Doesn't okay. sound scary at all. No, no, not at all. Um, so it gets a two on the dice with a plus ten to hit. Uh, well, guess what? Giant ape has an AC of twelve. You got it. So I hit you on anything but a one. You you literally, yeah. Oh my hit. god. My poor arms. This no, attack ignores resistance or immunity to slashing damage. Oh, which I have. You take 20 slashing damage. Each time the Ripper hits with an attack on its turn, it can make an additional attack against the target as part of the same action. Oh. A Ripper continues making these attacks, even against the target at zero hit points. So here we go. Let's see how long it takes me to roll a one. So oh, 20 damage. No. Another hit. 20 to more damage. Ow. Another hit. 20 more damage. Hold on, hold on. Slow down. Keep going. I've hit you three times. Okay. Another hit for 20 more damage. Ow. <laughs> another hit for 20 more damage. That was another two on the dice. Another hit for 20 more damage. Okay, I have 37 health left. Another hit for 20 more damage. I have 17 health left. Another hit for there 20 more go. damage. <laughs> but are you done? Because now it just turns back into Pluto. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I, I just imagine that like it, it 
buzz saws through the ape, and like the ape splits open and pulls it off. <laughs> that whole combat encounter, I just minus twenty over and over again on D and D Beyond. Do you still go against Pluto? Yeah, you're the same creature. So now you have to hit it AC twenty. Okay, uh, so I get a twenty. So oh. twenty damage. Oh, I might die here. Oh, I get a nineteen. Uh. Woo! Oh well, it was only. Well, it was only 180 80 damage. damage. Wow. <laughs> 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 this thing is going to murder mages. It's poor mages. Poor mages. What's this plus to hit? <laughs> plus 10. Oh, God. What CR is this thing? 50. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Ow. <laughs> well, joke's on you. I'm not an ape anymore, so my arms suck. <laughs> I'm so bloody. You literally just got sawed in half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now you're back. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Okay, Galaxy, it's your turn. Are you still concentrating on Polymorph? I right. mean, I guess I... not anymore. <laughs> nope. Do it again. I think I can take him this time. He can't do it again. Um, although I am poisoned. Do I check for fear? Do I roll with for each of these things? Oh, yeah, you do. What's the what's the DC? The DC 16. I'll just, while she's taking her yeah. turn, I'll, I'll just look into that. Um. I have a lot to roll for. Eight failures. 16. So I God. have restorative I ointment, and I can unpoison myself. Oh, you're going to just. I'm just going <laughs> to. Takes a moment to put on some sunscreen and oh, take man. away that poison. Uh, and then. That's awful. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> the Ripper. He lives up to his name. Just just putting it out there. It's so disappointing to see that many numbers disappear. <laughs> How many? T I, yeah, I hit you eight times. Yeah, the giant ape has 157 hit points. So that was, it was eight to clear at the eight, and then again, you hit Pluto once. <laughs> so yeah, 180 uh, damage. I saved twice, so two more back up. Okay. okay. Um, oh. I am, so I, I did splash the, um, the ointment? ointment on me, so I'm not poisoned. I gained some hit points, 11 to be exact. And I am going to send my familiar out to help Pluto. Okay. Uh, so action, do you want to move or take a bonus action? Um, I am going to just move around. I want to start making my way to the side. Okay. Did you want to blade song or anything like that? I'll be closer to the side. Or did you already enter your blade song? I'm already in my blade song. Okay. Yeah. Um, there. So yes. Okay. Um, okay. Going over to um, Anders. Dr. Anders, what he is going to do um, is, yeah, it's so good, right? It's because you had an AC of 12. Yeah, you did have it, to, to be fair, yeah. The, the Ripper is really good at like <laughs> ripping apart low AC. Uh, at CR 15, if you've made it to that level, and, and you have an AC of 12, that's your own Yeah. You met. You don't okay. messed up. Anders is going to cast Blood Worm on Pluto. Uh oh. Huh? You infect a creature you can see within range with a magical disease in the form of a malignant parasite. Um, oh, there you go. I can represent the malignant parasite. Once per turn, when the creature hits an infected target with a weapon attack, that attack deals an additional 46 necrotic damage, and the attacker regains hit points equal to the necrotic damage dealt. Each time the infected target takes this necrotic damage, it makes a con save against the spell, and if the save su succeeds, the spell ends. So yeah, every time the Ripper... Uh, the the Ripper's gonna heal? It's gonna heal itself. Gosh. No! Okay, so that's... Uh, and then Anders is just going to... Hide. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I had just finished mentally measuring all of my distances. Uh, Gemini, it's your turn. Anders? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's just try to dish out some damage. Um, so all my, all my little, all my little pen tips are going to attack, uh, getting a 27. 23 
10. Uh, it has AC 25. 17. Okay, so uh, yeah. three of them hit. Okay. And how much is the damage? It's 1d4 plus 4. That's pretty good. It's much more, much better when there's uh, 10 of them. <laughs> yeah. 20 damage. Alrighty. And then I'm going to attack Still it. Still not bloodied. With my blade, uh, getting a 24 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Using another one of my blade flourishes. 14 damage. Okay. Increasing my AC again. And then I'm going to. Can I make it. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack it one more time. Okay. Uh, missing. And then using mobile to get back. Run right away! It. Yeah, it won't lurch you. It's going to lurch Pluto. Uh oh. I figured. So that's your turn. I, I, I'm so scared, but I attack it. Okay. I'm gonna attack it as hard as I can. Oh, here we go. Uh, using precision strike. Uh, what's its AC? I got a 15. 17 is the AC. Um, okay, 25 to hit. Uh, and then I'm gonna, he actually search, but can I? Is he large? He is. Then I want to make a DC 17 strength check. I got a natural 20. It's fine. Yeah, he's 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 pretty strong. Oh, is he strong? Yeah, he's. I'm strong too. You wouldn't guess. Seven. Uh, well, he's still gonna take 16 damage. Okay. And I'm gonna action surge. He's and bloodied. I get a 24 to hit. That. Yep. And I want him to make a, what can I do? What, what's, uh, actually I'm gonna use a uh, distracting strike. So he, uh, next person that attacks him. Has advantage? Yep. Yeah. And then uh, it's gonna be, ooh yeah, that's better. 25 damage. Okay. And then uh, a 27 to hit for. Ugh. Three attacks? Uh, I action surge. Oh yeah. So took three the, hits. He took the help as well from my familiar. Oh, I did it. On this attack, uh, well, I didn't get a one, so uh, it's another uh, 11 damage. Okay. The, uh, the Ripper's gonna unstoppable lurch on you, even though you didn't move away. It's just gonna kind of reposition, and it ends the movement to gain advantage on its next attack roll. Hey, wait, if he walks away from me. He's not walking away from you. Oh. <laughs> he's just lurching more. Yeah, he's just lurching you. towards you. He's lurching? Yeah, oh, you know what? unstoppably I'm gonna, lurching. I'm gonna second win just because. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Yep. Okay, let's see what happens. Alrighty. The Whirling Bone Saw comes down on Pluto. Come on, man. First attack well, it's not with advantage. To his rolls. Uh, 22 to hit. I lucky. Oh. Yeah! Like, you were going to save. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> I think all of us could yeah. have. <laughs> all of us have ways of mitigating dice rolls. Uh, <laughs> now that we saw you literally tear an eight from full health down to zero. An eight and a half. A, full, <laughs> yes. a fully healed giant ape. Do we know what this monster does? I think we do. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bone saw kind of stalls for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, it, it only gets the one attack. It just, <sighs> and it just keeps going, going until it misses. Oh God, that's so scary, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the other two uh, two abilities that might not come up, we'll, we'll see. Is I imagine ability? that I catch it right at the right angle with my uh, with my shield, that it kind of jams the yeah, bone saw yeah. uh, for a moment as he pulls it away. Yeah, it's it, um, and unfortunately the gory display, which was that spinning the the gore all around, it, uh, the the ripper has uh, um, if you're frightened. The Ripper's attacks automatically crit and have advantage on attack rolls against frightened creatures. Oh god. And creatures killed by attacks made by the Ripper can't be restored to life by means of, uh, uh, except by true resurrection. He's, he's a box. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is like end game. You're fighting yeah. the apothecaries in the end game. Yeah. The Ripper. The Ripper. Now, for the record, you did frighten all of my little dudes. All your little weapons, yeah. So if they're, you attack they're, them, they're... Those little, they're like shaking. Yeah. And I, I you both... should have summoned spears, and then you would have had Shakespeare's. Are they... But maybe they're quivering. 
Is there quells? Ooh. Write that in. Write that in. Write that down. Ooh. Write it down. That's good. That's good. That's good, That's good. That's good hockey. That's good hockey right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Galatea, it's your turn. Uh, and you said <laughs> your bo- your boobs fuel me. <laughs> your boobs mean nothing. <laughs> um, you said the next person has advantage. Yeah, there. yeah, distracting right. strike. Uh, I'm gonna move up to him then. Uh, save. Actually, 55 feet of movement. I forgot my uh, my blade song gives me an extra 10. Uh, and then I'm gonna booming blade it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get an extra 10 feet of movement for my blade song or for my. So it's 20. Bardic s- thing. Six to hit. That does hit the ripper. And nice. then uh, regular go. That's gonna be uh, eighteen. Both hit, actually. Nice. Yeah. Come in with two swift blades. Okay. Then that. blade flourishing. And I also have a parasite, right? Yeah, if you get hit oh, by Oh, yeah, and I missed you. So and it's like it's, living yeah. in my oh. brain, or where is it? it? It's like kind of like lurching it's, on it's your It's in your blood. Yeah, it's in your blood. In your blood, blood parasites. <laughs> no, my blood. <laughs> I feel like Unfortunately, sick, I missed, I so like I didn't a even. Sick animal. Like I, I was, a, I was an ape that got cut in half, and now I have a blood parasite. Like, did I drink some bad water? You what also, happened? you also, like ten minutes ago, well, maybe an hour ago, were injected with like poisons, <laughs> like a numbing spray. Numbing yeah. spray. I, I feel like you're experimenting on me at this point. That's the so goal. Twelve damage, and then uh, ten damage. So twenty. 22 damage total. What? Nice job. Nice job, gal. Um, Alrighty, gal. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Seeing uh, seeing the the Ripper being uh, very, very horrendously damaged, um, and and, and Anders, um, and that that now Gemini is is approaching, what Gemini is going to do? Uh, well, against Gemini. Are you taking oh. any damage, Gemini? Uh, no. Mm. <laughs> 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 We're all laughing. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, you haven't taken any damage. No. Who has taken damage? Yo. Okay. We're gonna move over here. Hey, <laughs> um, I'm walking menacingly towards you. you can't just run um, away. And <laughs> and he's going to cast Septic Shock on Galatea. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know what it does, and I don't know what level it is. So, just your gut. Counterspell. At <laughs> what level? Fifth level. It's a fifth level spell. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> to tell level. you what it would have done, choose yes, a creature yes. you can see within range that doesn't have its all its hit points. You infect the target's wounds with putrefying bacteria. The target must make a con save. Um, if it has less than half its hit point maximum, it makes the saving throw with disadvantage. On a failed save, it takes 10d8 necrotic damage and gains the level of exhaustion. Oh, I would have died. You're dead, dead. She would have dead. <laughs> <Just a death>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good play. Good, good play. Good yeah. Thank you. Totally worth it. <laughs> Okay, Gemini. All right, so I have four, four little little guys attacking the Ripper. <laughs> it's so deadly. Uh, it's AC. You said it was seventeen. Seventeen. I missed with all four of them. Okay. Um, you need a nine, right? I needed a ten. No, no, you're, you're, you're eight. Your eight is a hit. Uh, you're plus eight. So, so you need nine. Oh, so my two nines did hit. Okay. Thank you for mathing. Nine, nine, you're good. Okay, <laughs> math, so, not mathing. So I did roll two nines. So I'm just barely two of them poke them. Poke them. <laughs> Where do you poke them? Thirteen. Thirteen damage. Poke them in the fingers. No, like they get them in the, like, the legs, like, like a mosquito yeah, just, bite. Yeah, Okay. And then I'm gonna run up to No, my face. To this guy. And as he yells no my face, I'm going to stab him in the face with my sword. That's what he's expecting. Get him somewhere else. Twenty-three. That's a hit. Um and I'm gonna use uh, once again a blade flourish. Once again it's defensive blade flourish. Doing fourteen damage. My okay. AC only goes up by to this As you stab into him, his blood sprays out all over oh, you, and no. it's acidic. 
go. And you take, uh, wow, 14 points of uh, poison damage. Ah, my face. No, my face. <laughs> no, my face. <laughs> <laughs> you got your face. Trying to learn from my mistake, I say, ah, his face is full of acid, and I stab him in the leg. Oh, that's smart. Getting getting a 26 to it's hit. It's a hit. Uh, for another 10 damage. Uh, unfortunately, his leg is also filled oh, with poison. No. Stop, no. <laughs> like sprays in my face. <laughs> oh. You take another 14 points. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, any part of you that's not acid? Get away from me. Yeah, I'm like, stop it. <laughs> And I run. Uh, he does have to make two concentration checks for. Uh, oh, the septic. For the yeah, but he succeeds both. Oh. Yeah. My usual deep voice kind of got really high there when I got sprayed <laughs> with acid. He is bloodied though. Oh good. Hey, is he bloodied or is it acid? <laughs> yeah. Did he? Uh, Pluto. I gotta keep wailing. It's all I can do. It's all I can do. Uh, oh, and the Ripper is going to use its lurch on, um, yeah. Mm, what's your AC? <laughs> 19, and it can be up to 24 with shield. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to lurch on Pluto. Oh, so the blade song. Oh, hit? God. Oh, blade song. My blade song um, gives me plus four to my AC. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I get a 17. That does hit. With the with precision. Okay. Oh, I have the That's the AC. only reason I'm up there. <laughs> This is actually a pretty cool combat team. Yeah. Eight, uh, 17 damage. Okay. Um, I'm gonna attack him again. Uh, 22 to hit. Also hit. For 15 damage. Okay. And then I can I can shove him. Yeah. I'm gonna try to knock him back five feet. Okay. Into Galatea. No, she's I get a, step get a on me. 20. I get a 19. Yeah, he pushes you back and then he just lurches towards you and gets its advantage on his attack rolls. No! Are you gonna do anything else? Nope. I have one Here more lucky. Saw. I have back. one more lucky. <laughs> I saw that my reaction. Uh, it is a 24 to hit. Uh, that hits. Silvery Barbs. I have to re-roll the roll or roll an additional Roll damage? an additional d20, taking the lowest. Okay. The lower roll. Okay. Uh, so that turns the lowest roll into a 20. It's. Uh, okay. 20 damage. Ow. Sorry, I tried. But I'm going to give you advantage on your next attack. Okay. Or save. Or save. Oh! 24. Uh, lucky. 19. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. It gets like caught in his armor a yeah. bit. Although, that would have triggered the blood worms. Yeah, so he got he got 20 health. So you take an extra 15 necrotic from the blood worms, Ow. and I get 15 back. Ah, my blood! <laughs> and with that, we go to Galatea. I think I need antibiotics or something. You'll probably, yeah. We're gonna need, we're gonna need to hire a different apothecary to help you out after <laughs> a this. A less evil. A less evil apothecary. Please. Um, I am going to cast polymorph, but on him into a snail. On? Big guy. On the big guy into the a river. snail? Yeah. So okay. Just go at him. Uh, so that's a 16. DC 16 wisdom save? Um, I, I do fail, so I am turned into a snail. The snail fail. <laughs> the moment we hit him, though, he comes right back. Yeah. Uh, we can just leave yeah, him. Yeah, but... Leave him alone. <laughs> we'll leave him for a second. Fair. Or hit him. Do what you, do what you need to do. Uh, and Anders is going to go, No! My creation! Um, and, uh... Yeah, um, were you concentrating on something else before? Um, uh, not that I... Polymorph. It was polymorph, and then I didn't get okay. anything else. Okay, okay. Um, so in that case, what he will do... Oh, I would have had to roll for the damage I took, God's save. Yeah. Two damages. Twelve? That would succeed. Twenty-four. Okay. 
Uh, I think what he's going to do is he's going to uh, move towards Pluto and Galatea. How far? He, uh, within 30 feet of Pluto. Okay. And he's going to cast Poison Wave. Ah. A wave of poisonous fumes emanates from him. Creatures within 30 feet. Oh, it's within 30 feet of him, which I think is actually all of you. And it's it, most yeah. of my... Uh, con saves. Oh. Um, and, and because uh, of this, um, the, uh, the ripper is in the range of the poison no. uh, wave. I also, uh, I fail, but I think you're going to kill, like, is it half damage on a successful save? Yeah. All of these had two hit points left. Okay. They uh, So it's going to be 20 poison damage on a failed save. Uh, and if you failed your save, you're poisoned until the end of uh, Anders' next turn. I got a 20. How much on a failed? Uh, 10 on a failed and not poisoned. You got a 20? Yeah. I got a 3. I got a, I rolled a, a 20 on the dice of 23. Okay. So just uh, just Gemini takes the 20 and it's poisoned. So it's 10 damage? Yep. And then the Ripper also takes the damage. Oh no! He's uh, not a snail anymore! And it is no longer a snail. <laughs> well, okay. that was a good... We're moment. trying things out. <laughs> there was a moment. There was a moment when Gemini. So poisoned. Uh, Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Well, in that case, I'm going to cast a spell. Um, so I yell out again. I writing in my journal, which is now covered in acid. Thanks, Doctor Anders. I say thanks, Doctor Anders and cast um, Psychic Lance on Dr. Anders. On Dr. Anders? I have to make an intelligence save? Oh yeah, that's gonna be hard. Um, yes, it's an intelligence save. Okay, I'll just I didn't think that through. He's probably got pretty good intelligence. Uh, not when you roll an eight on the die. Mm. Not enough. Not yeah. enough, okay. Yeah, it doesn't okay. So that's gonna be 7d6, not 76, but 7d6. Uh, psychic damage. Uh, that's gonna be 28 damage. Uh, his head explodes. Woo, psychic! And as his head explodes, oh, no. um, <laughs> his psyche and consciousness emerge from his body, becoming a disembodied psyche. Oh. It is a ghostly reflection oh, of his no. nervous system, uh, um, crackling with electricity. So basically, like, all of his nerves in his brain, like, float up into the air, and there's a corona of electricity around around uh, his new form, and uh, his body just shuffles off to the ground. Did I incapacitate the dead body? The dead body is very incapacitated. Nice but job. But not this. Not, which is effectively his psychic ghost. Cool. Um, uh, I let out a sigh and write some notes in my book. <laughs> this is the disembodied psyche, um, and uh, it, uh, um, it is a disembodied consciousness projected from the tortured imagination of an apothecary. It appears as a floating brain connected to a dangling nervous system, sparkling with electrical currents set within uh, the nebulous floating ghost-like blob of its form. Gross. And does it come out of all the apothecaries when they die? Uh, no. Ju or the evil ones? Th this is this is just me trying to find an excuse to get one of the new monsters into into the encounter. No, that's really <laughs> cool. I think that's such a cool way of like. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We have to fight its mind. This is um. This one is linked to alienists. Yes, we actually had these in the main campaign as well. We fought them in the school yeah. before we went into the basement when oh, we locked yeah. the doors oh. and had to fight the feeling. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, um, so uh, that was Gemini. Pluto, it's your turn. Oh, I go to take a swing at a snail, and then like a giant thing <laughs> appears. I'm like, oh, and I'm still gonna ta follow through, but it's very distracting. Am I no longer poisoned? Yeah, you, yeah, you you wouldn't be poisoned anymore. Cool. Uh, a 19 to hit with my last precision strike. Okay for um, 14 damage. And again, uh, 18 to hit. To hit? For a little less, uh, 11 damage. Couldn't seal the deal. Not close, haven't got it yet. Okay, well now that we're close, 
I want the Ripper to almost kill someone. <laughs> just saying. Don't worry, it's coming. I just, I just want to see it in action. I love this. How many hit points you got, Pluto? Uh, I, in terms of Ripper attacks, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so, so go. Uh, bonus action. Um, wait, I can, I can try something. I can I try shoving him. I'm gonna yeah. try shoving him. I get a nineteen. Uh, you shove him. I shove him back five feet, and I jump over this table. Okay. Whoa! And I run over here. Uh, All right. Me. Well, in that case, uh, um, I guess. Uh, okay, so I don't get to <laughs> lurk. Lur I guess uh, oh, Galaxy wait. is there. Oh wait! No! <laughs> no! Okay, Can I retcon that? No, 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 uh, no, 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 we're just going to go for Galatea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your AC is 19? 19 plus sheep. A critical hit. Oh, no. Silvery barbs? Oh. Turns the crit into a 21. Yeah. 20 oh, damage. No. I'm out. You're what? out? You couldn't, oh, you couldn't shield because you silvery barb. Yeah, but it would have been worse. Alrighty. I would have got hit anyways. Yeah. So. All right, so the Ripper... Saws through Galatea. No! And because it continues attacking a target at zero hit points, it attacks again, which is a 22, which is a critical hit, which is two failed death saves. No, and Galatea! And it attacks again. Uh, rolling a one? Rolling a natural one! No! Uh, but it has advantage because she's prone. So it actually gets a 16 to hit. Is But Blade Song's gone. Oh, but Blade Song. Can you, can you yes, Silvery Barb? I Silvery Barb's it. As a last shot. Turning it into another oh! natural one! <laughs> I saved her! My one friend! Do you want to give her an advantage on her death save with your save silvery barbs? That's probably important. <laughs> yes! Please. Yes, I will do that. Oh oh! Just come and heal me. I imagine that I, she's I on you. the ground. And there's nothing stopping oh, the, except there's like a piece of metal that's yes. like what sticking if, like, out of the ground. What if suddenly like catches on something and it's one of she my... She collapses and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the daggers! One of my, it's one, one of, of the daggers. Tips yeah. Gets stuck in his saw. <laughs> and it stops it momentarily. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a moment. Oh what gosh. a moment. Oh, I, this, these are, this is the time when I wish we actually did have a dice cam. <laughs> Yeah, that's because great. like <laughs> I Thank saw you it. For I saw... Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silvery barbs. Silvery barbs. Um Silvery Barbs, man. <laughs> so good. So All right. Two silver barbs for two natural ones. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So Galatea, you got a death saving throw with advantage. It's your turn. Okay. That turned a one into a sixteen. So that turned dead into not dead. Yeah! Again, silver <laughs> barbs coming through. And uh, probably just not even a broken spell or anything. Nah. <laughs> nah. I mean, it hasn't broken anything. It's just saved lives. It's just stopped us from silver getting murdered. Silver saves lives. <laughs> okay. Well, the disembodied psyche uh, of, of Anders is going to fly over to Pluto, teleporting uh -oh. behind Pluto. Uh-oh. Um, and uh, it is go and and he's going to try to electroshock you, Pluto. Uh, getting a eighteen to hit. Uh, just misses. I really like that though. I really like the miss. I really, really. Yeah, that down. would have been uh, that would have been thirty-five lightning damage and uh, a daze. That would have been KO'd for Pluto's. Okay, uh, Gemini, it's your turn. I run over, as I'm doing so, yeah. I cast Healing Word on Galatea. And I'm like, my friend, get up. Huge. On your feet. And then I'm going to run at this beast, uh, angry that it has hurt my comrades. And I'm going to... How much do I heal? Uh, sorry, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I guess I will roll it. You get seven hit points. That's enough. That's enough. I'm alive! And then I'm going to attack the Ripper, getting a 26. To hit. 
Uh, can end it. 18 damage. The Ripper is destroyed! Yes. You cut it down, it's hulking form finally collapsing under the under the Oh. Beam. How far did I move? That was That is uh, that is it's such a cool mini. It is mm-hmm. it is not only a cool mini, but it is such a scary foe with yeah. such a simple design, which is to take your limbs. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad we got to see that it that it yeah, if you go to zero, it's I can't believe we actually saw like one of the few ways to survive going to zero. Which is using a bunch of spell slots, yeah. a bunch of reactions, and yeah. just getting those those key yeah. natural ones. But sawing the ape in half, I think, is just a hundred. That damage. was like a, a hundred and sixty damage. Like I mean, that's why you gotta have a good AC against it. Like yeah, it, it really yeah. just is. Like if you don't have a good AC, the Ripper's gonna kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, crazy. That great Gemini, you got anything else? Uh, I have a second attack, but I can't make it. Uh, so I think that's it for me. Alrighty. Uh, Pluto, it is your turn. I spin around and I attack the um, the Psyche, uh, getting a 30 to hit. Oof. And uh, does a 15? Uh, yeah, 15 does hit okay. it, actually. Yeah. So two hits for um, 10 damage and uh, 17 damage. Okay. So I the blubbering brain reverberates, it. giving it, it's got quite a headache. Um, and then I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna try to shove it on the ground. I'm gonna try to push it prone. It actually cannot be knocked prone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is it because of the whole It's because it's like, yeah, yeah. It's a floating brain. Yeah. I try to push through it and I hit a barrel. Yeah. And that's my turn. Okay, Galatea. Getting up and I say, Thank you, my friend. <laughs> the blood, <laughs> just, I'm just a giant, like, gah. You have a mechanical saw wound in your chest. I'll, we'll be, get, I'll be quite all right. We'll, and I run towards the brain. I'll get you in touch with my tailor to fix that jacket. Uh, remember, your blade song is down, so unless you want to turn it on again, it is, it is off. I will turn okay. it off. I will. Yes. Uh, or sorry, turn it on. Uh, and then I will booming blade and hit it. Booming blade. Oh, well, that's not good at all. Uh, 10. Uh, that does miss. And then the regular. You're the worst! <laughs> no, it's 10 again. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. <laughs> I will. How, how far did I get? Because I can move 55 with my blade song. So. You moved. You were next to me. 5, 10, 15. You like only. I'm just gonna happy. move back. Okay. <laughs> the disembodied psyche <laughs> starts sending out psychic waves. <laughs> you can all make wisdom saving throws. I hear an oh. '80s sci-fi sound. <laughs> Someone playing a guitar? <laughs> Sorry, wisdom. Yeah. I rolled a two, so I got an 15. eight. Fifteen. Uh, I got a twelve. You all fail. Cool. You're all incapacitated and, you're, and your speed is zero. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like that. You can make a saving throw at the end of each of your turns oh. to get out of it. Oh, oh no. no, oh no. Incapacitated. Uh, and then it's gonna uh, just fly into the middle of the room. So like away from all of us? Yeah. Uh, okay, Gemini, you're incapacitated. Uh, you can make a saving throw to escape from uh, being uh, hypnotized. Wah, 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 wah. Eleven. Let's see how many we can do in a row. Okay, Pluto, it's your turn. Do the, can you do the sound? Nineteen. You break out of it. That sound was starting to get to me. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Record scratch. Alrighty, Galatea. Can I use my movement though? Uh, no. That's just. Okay. You, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so the disembodied psyche is now going to. Um, uh, which, which which one of you two does more damage? That's a great question. Neither. I'm Actually, which of you has one. has more hit points for me? I have 35. Not me. It's going to fly into your body. No. <laughs> no. 
So it flies into your body. Give me an intelligence saving throw. Oi. Do you accept a nine? Uh, it does accept a nine as, as, it, as it takes <laughs> over your body with mental possession. Everything has become clear to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's your turn, Gemini, and it forces you to attack Galatea. Ah, no! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> At least I played songed. Uh, do you want, how hard do you want me to go with this? Uh, you're incapacitated to play songs. Ah, uh, yeah, you just do your done. two attacks. Do I, just normal, I'm not yeah. using blade flourishes or yeah, anything. Yeah, it's just going to make you do two attacks. Okay, I like crit. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be um, that's gonna be 19 damage. Oh god! You just healing worded her too. She's dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna attack her while she's on the ground. No, he's gonna force you to run over to Pluto and attack Pluto. Gemini, so glad you're here. So I think he. I can't. I so <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, you almost killed me. <laughs> I almost killed both of you. I'm sorry. You did kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell, Gemini? I feel like, like walking up, you're like, oh, man, I just stabbed you in the throat. <laughs> Pluto, it's your turn. I hit Gemini. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I get an 18. Do I use shield? Or can I use my You abilities? can't use your reactions. Uh, then you yeah. get. Uh, I'm going to whack it out of you. All right. Uh, I'm doing 10 damage. Does it whack it out of me? Uh, yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to whack the creature. But I give you a really mean glare. What did I do? Oh, I, I get a, a 13. That hits. Oh, thank you. It only has a 13 AC. Yeah. I'm dealing uh, 16 damage. Okay, it is bloodied. <laughs> better be. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to shove. And just, just so you know, anyone running this monster in the future, you have to do, you have to do the noise. There's a sound clip that will come with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You press a button in the book. If we, hit a certain, the if we hit a certain tier, we're going to include a sound clip of Monty yeah. doing the voice. And I'm going to shove Gemini away. Okay. I'm going to push him back. I just. Get out of the way. <laughs> All right, Galatea, death saving throw. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, your death saves do reset when you're healed. Good thing. It's important. I uh, rolled a 13. Okay. Nice. Yay. All righty. Uh, the disembodied psyche is. Uh, uh, um, is unhappy with this uh, situation, so it's going to try to uh, electroshock uh, Pluto again. Uh oh! Uh, getting a seventeen to hit. Just it misses again, so I'm able to. Uh, I dodge. Okay. I duck. Uh, then it's going to teleport across the room. How? Where? What? How towards far? Towards me, thirty feet towards me, and fly away. How far can I fly? Thirty feet. Does its hypnosis recharge? No. Alrighty. Gemini, we're over to you. Well, first things first, I'm gonna healing word once again. Uh, sorry for my murder. It's fine. Uh, you got six hit points. <laughs> That's my last first level spell slot. Perfect. You're back up. Back up. <laughs> if I use a blade flourish, I can make it five feet away from it, which doesn't help me. Um, you know what? 
although I'm, I feel like this thing probably has high intelligence, I'm going to blast it again with Psychic Lance. Give me an intelligence saving throw. Uh, I, again, I roll an eight, which does turn into a 15. Wait, wait, can you cast two spells? No, you can't. Yeah, you're healing oh, worded. Oh, yeah. right, I healing yeah. worded. No, yeah. you're right. You could cantrip it. Yeah, you can cast a cantrip. Yeah, or the Mockery uh, or Eldritch Blast. Galatea uh, to die. Okay, I'm going to Eldritch Blast it twice. Okay. I'm just going to do that. 17. I hit. And uh, uh, 20. Pow, pow! And that's going to be... Pow, 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 pow. Nine damage. Total? Okay. Yeah. So as it's running away, I'm... <laughs> Pluto. I rush past Gemini. I push him out of the way. Uh, Get out of the way, nerd. Uh. And I throw a javelin <laughs> at the creature. Getting a, a 19 to hit. To hit. For uh, 10 damage. Okay. And then I throw another one. Um, would you accept a 14? I will. Yeah. For... Uh, another 10 damage. Okay, it's still kicking. Gosh, darn it. And then I shove Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Galatea, we're over to you. I get up and I'm so angry. I've been put down twice. I'm the most disheveled I've ever been in my life and I just throw a fireball at it. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a five on my saving throw. Okay. <laughs> One, two. Nice. That's how we kill it. Angry dice roll. <laughs> there we go. It's a lot of, it's a lot of anger behind that. God, Twenty-eight. That was uh, that's it. Blows it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the psyche is destroyed along Jeez, with most of the that experiment. Was a tough fight. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Ripper. That's yes, the Ripper and the disembodied psyche. <laughs> we did it. Is there well, anything we didn't get to see? Uh, the only thing we didn't get to see this time, uh, we're, we're, we're wrapping up uh, here, but we also have the Chemistral, oh. uh, another apothecary abomination monster, which uh, we won't have time for for this time. Uh, not the least of which is I don't think any of you can do cold damage. Uh, correct. Correct? Yeah, no. So you actually can't kill a Chemistral unless you can do cold damage. So uh, we're, we're, we're not uh, running that one this time. For uh, those of you who have seen the classic movie, The Blob, that's a that's a that's a wink to that. Yeah. Have yeah. you guys seen it? The classic horror movie from the eighties. It's uh, it's a really cool monster though that uh, it uh, no, different it's... types of elemental damage. Uh, depending on what type of elemental damage you deal to it, it gains new powers and abilities as the as the chemistry com composition of it changes. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a really fun monster. We re really like it. I don't know if we had the party composition to really show off how it works. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it also feels like it's on par with the Ripper. Maybe not for damage output, but yeah, in but terms of like, it's a boss-ish. Yes, it, it, it definitely is like a centerpiece. Um, you know, not every, the Ripper is absolutely like a centerpiece creature. Like it's it's the coolest one in the fight, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, although even getting the disembodied psyche in there, I think was was adding. adding. The possession too. Oh, um, so, yeah. Those two crits. <laughs> the oh, two crits man, double great. critting. Oh yeah. I can't believe that. But with the nerds taken out, <laughs> um, there there ends the uh, apothecary experiments in the lands of Caspia, uh, and so from there we shall return to our storytellers and find out their response to these adventures. As we come back to Pluto, uh, how what is the what is the wisdom that Pluto gives us in telling this part of the tale? And then. She blew it up with a fireball. The end. Do you have any questions? You fought a monster that sawed you in half. Yeah, I was an ape and it cut me in half. And then I wasn't an ape anymore. And then it turned into a snail and it became regular again. Have I not, I, I've never mentioned this. I could have sworn this came up. We've done a lot of, so, okay, my lesson that I'm getting from this is literally all of our tactics that we've used in the past almost failed you. Polymorph failed. Mm -hmm. Allies failed. You, I don't know, Pluto Jacksoning 
fail. Mm -hmm. I think the lesson to be taken away from this is if you just push through and how, how can I say this? Uh, let go your earthly bonds and your love of yourself and your no. not caring about <laughs> getting hurt. Well, you can achieve anything. Our friends clearly are the ones that hurt can hurt us the most. If I got anything from that. That's actually a really great point. Yeah, so we so. should really be on the same team in this and not let each other get possessed. Okay, I, I have a question, Pluto. Sure. Dr. Anders, mm -hmm. when you were describing them, they had goggles, they had red hair, they had purple jacket. Is that what they actually looked like? Or why did you make them look, sound so much like me? I, I think I was just thinking of you in the moment. I don't know what they actually Do you associate were. me with evil apothecaries? Now a little bit. <laughs> like more so now that it's again, it's the claw hand. You have that weird claw hand that's just like- Oh, was Dr. Anders eating souls? No. Don't- But her blood, a... her blood was poison or acid and it sprayed everywhere, <laughs> no matter what. And then the, when you killed her, she had this like psyche that appeared and possessed our friend who started murdering everyone. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I get that vibe. Look, I think the big takeaway here is that when you are over overcome and overwhelmed, it truly is keeping everyone together and in the fight. Mm. And I think we were able to uh, to to achieve victory. Mm. Uh, Again, even at uh, uh, impossible odds, by continuing to just focus and hammer home. If we do it together. If we do it together. If we do it together. You did such a <laughs> begrudging, like you were like, uh. Listen, I think it's clear what the actual lesson here is. I need to cast Fireball more. I think that's, yeah. That's I think that's not a bad idea. Unless they're demons, in which case I don't think it matters. Yeah. Because I feel like demons love okay, fire. So they eat fire. So, and we're literally going to fight demons. Yeah, so oh. something that's like on the curb of fireball if the demon was made of straw. What about the, you never, what happened to the potato boy? He died shortly after. Oh. From oh. unnatural, from unnatural causes. We killed him. Was he actually made of potatoes? You know, I'll, I'll look That's into all that. I picture. I'll get back potatoes. to you. <laughs> I'll actually have to get back to you on that. So that was a small glimpse of uh, of another monster that is actually in in the book. Um, that are little assistants for the apothecaries. Uh, some so some apothecaries do need someone to go out and man their illicit shops and collect body parts for from them from the streets. And so they're a fun little creature that uh, we'll be expanding on a little bit more. Uh, in the books itself. Yeah, yeah he, he just reeked of evil. <laughs> and, and, and suspicion and potatoes. <laughs> of moldy potatoes. <laughs> well, with that, a big thank you to our incredible cast, Jill, Kelly, and Joe, for playing once more. Thank you. And a big thank you to Kyle for all of the work he does behind the scenes. Thanks, buddy. And a big thank you to our Dungeon Master, Monty yeah. Martin, Yay. for uh, showcasing some of the incredible monsters tonight. Monsters that you'll be able to get your hands on the stat blocks of by backing our Kickstarter. This is Monsters of Drakenheim. This is going to be a book full of brand new monsters, including, in this chapter you have seen, the Apothecary Abominations. There are many more Apothecary Abominations in the book, but you got to see the Reautomata, the... Um, Ripper, the injector, the injector, the disembodied psyche, not the chemistral, but we had the miniature for it. So yeah. we were doing miniature sets for, for several of these monsters. So these have been lovingly painted by Four Realms of Chaos, the studio here in Canada. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to have both. Um, you can either get them as STL files and print them yourself, or you can get uh, them factory made for you as well. Nice. And uh, I, I think that they're all awesome, but we're, we have a lot more monsters to show you. If you're watching all of the episodes of this little actual play series we're doing during the Kickstarter, you're gonna to get to see all of the monsters that we have created miniatures for, but that's only a small glimpse of over 150 monsters Ooh. that are gonna be available in this book, which come complete with lots of lore, 
layers, and loot. We also have our brand new crafting system that's being implemented, and you're going to be able to have your layers and adventure hooks and all of that so that you can take these monsters, build adventures or campaigns around them, have your characters make epic, cool magic items using the parts from these monsters. All of that jam-packed into this book coming to you soon. You can follow the links down below to get in on the Kickstarter. There's lots of different options there. Whether you are playing in person and want to get maps and miniatures and tons of physical accessories, or whether you play completely online, you might want to consider our Digital Deluxe Bundle, which gives you digital versions of the book itself, your VTT of choice, uh, you get d a digital art book, and digital versions of things like the card decks as well. So no matter, for us at Dungeon Dudes and with our publisher Goes Fire Gaming, it is our goal that we want you to be able to enjoy the world of Drakenheim and the monsters that we've created in the way that you play the game. Whether you play in person, whether you play virtually, whether you play a hybrid or a mix, whatever VTT platform you want to do. So we're doing our best to make sure that as many options are available for you to play the game your way. So be sure to check out the Kickstarter, back the campaign, and all the links are down below. With that, our adventures with Pluto Jackson's Monster Hunt will be continuing again next week as we go back and still get previews to come of Monsters of the Space Between Worlds mm -hmm. and more Horrors of Drakenheim. So those are, stay tuned for those. We'll be doing a couple extra episodes each week as we get to the final weeks of the Kickstarter as well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time as we face the monsters of Drakenheim. Dark in the night, or if I oh, they tear, the devil bite, run, try to hide, miss to stay out of sight, sing a string, so we see morning rise. The monsters are near, and we won't back down. Face our fear, as it roars, or a jet of flame. Visions of night won't break us here. Played by a cycle of sand and fire. The brave went bold, joined the hunt tonight. I turned it tight. Taken tonight. Together we stand, she'll break it out. In the dark, we'll stand up and fight.